I didn't realize that you could just claim a space. It, <laughs> it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem, uh, I guess, fair. First come, first serve. Many Canadians sticking close to home means available camping sites have become harder to find. Some even parking their campsites on crowned land indefinitely, paying the fines and leaving nothing left for other campers. There's a frustration to knowing that there are some spots that we're never going to have because people just park their campers and get fined and stay there. This was Catherine Simino's reaction after finding out there were some campers setting up permanent summer camp homes on crowned land near Racehorse Creek, about 200 kilometers south of Calgary. They have like a community of campers that just go and leave their campers out there, get fined every year and uh, consider it just rent. On a recent camping trip, one regular camper she crossed paths with mentioned this was the norm every year. People leaving their campers, parked at campsites, heading into the city for work, then driving up to the campsite on weekends to their usual spot. On the Alberta government website, it states campers on Crown Land must limit their stay to no more than 14 days in the same location. It also states to be respectful and share with other users. There's quite a few people that leave it out there and it's, again, against the rules. Ryan Epp, who created the Facebook group Crownland Camping Alberta, says setting up permasites on Crownland is the norm. With such a shortage on the conservation officers to cover all that land, even if it's reported, it's hard for them to get around and look into everything. Epp says he's noticed an increase in people out on Crownland and campers need to respect the rules and share the space, especially when people are trying to vacation close to home this summer. Simino says this experience has slightly turned her off from camping on crowned land, where people have set up permanent campsites and don't mind paying the fine. If you're okay with that, then why not just go to a paid campsite and pay and let other people use the crowned land? In Calgary, Jackie Perez, City News.